So I think by 2025, the next six years, T-Mobile is going to be number one. And John Ledger is going to retire. Yep. He's going to retire. He's he going to get him over. He gonna, he's, he's not actually doing all the work, but he's going to get him to that spot. And next thing you know, brush his shoulder off. We're going to move on to the next project. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So not going to say I told you so, but um, they are way earlier than I thought they would be. So if you haven't heard the news, John Ledger from T-Mobile is stepping down next year. Uh, pretty much on May 1st, he says he's going to hand over the reins uh, to the new CEO, which is the gentleman that he hired uh, back in the day. So no surprise there. But uh, I told you um, in the previous video, you know, when I was talking about the merger, he's ultimately saying he's going to stay on as a board member and things like that. And recent news, he was being um, groomed for a different company, WeWork or something like that, for their CEO. So, um, turns out, if you have the personality, if you have the things to show and prove that you can represent a company well and, and do things, you can. people will start to come after you. Uh, and that's how it works for YouTube, too. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, I think John Ledger is going to be CEO somewhere else, or he'll go to something else. It's, he's not going to stay on the board very long. Uh, just sitting on T-Mobile's board or directors or whatever they're doing. Uh, I, I saw this coming, which is why I talked about it. I had no idea that it would be this soon. Uh, but, you know, he says he's going to get the 5G thing on the ground, make sure everything is settled, and then he's going to pass the reins over to this gentleman. And, you know, it, it's a matter of, you know, you got to know how the game works. And uh, I definitely know how the game works. I, I told you before that he's going to be leaving by 2025, I think I said, or something like that. But... Nonetheless, it's 2020. So, but 5G is launching for T-Mobile. And as far as the merger video that I put out, listen, folks, don't shoot the messenger. I put out there the information that T-Mobile gave me. So, hey, if, if 5G, if the merger doesn't work, I don't personally care. You know, uh, it, it, it doesn't mean anything to me. I just want to get the 5G going and get some 5G phones. Uh, but the merger is going to help uplift Sprint because Sprint is a, a sinking ship. Uh, and uh, T-Mobile obviously is the new hotness, so people want to get down with what's what's hot. So that merger uh, should happen. Uh, everybody's, uh, oh my God, it doesn't, it didn't happen yet, it didn't happen yet. You're jumping the gun. Hey, okay, okay. <sighs> Nonetheless, there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is not John Ledger anymore. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming, folks. I just wanted to give you a brief video and let you know that uh, John Ledger will be leaving uh, May 1st, 2020. Uh, at the end of April, he's saying he's just handing it over. I think that when companies do this, you know, they they know. For all we know, he signed a seven-year contract with T-Mobile. Get this thing rolling, and then you know we'll move you on to this, and we'll pay you this bonus, and da da da. That is actually how when you see a lot of people moving within companies, or you see companies uh, kind of CEOs jumping from one spot to another. They're just completing. This is jobs to them. They sign on deals. Uh, and they do the deal and then they leave and go on to the next deal. Uh, and, and the reason it's different for them and not us is because they're signing multi-million dollar contracts with people. So they've got money to burn. They can, they can afford to hop and have their resume look like that because they look like superstars hopping amongst the corporate world. You know, in, in his situation, he really looks like a superstar because he's credited for taking T-Mobile to the next level. Uh, when folks, I told you years ago that don't think that before all the other carriers had uh, the monthly plans, I told you guys back then, I said, don't think that these guys aren't talking behind the, the closed doors and saying, okay, you're going to be the, you could do it. If it fails, you know, it'll fall on you. All these things that T-Mobile, the uncarrier, it was just a test dummy. The, those T-Mobile was the test dummy for all the things that the industry wanted to happen. And it turns out that it worked. Everybody started doing more unlimited plans, dropping their pricing. Monthly plans became a thing. No contracts became a thing. You got to you gotta not focus on what you see on the surface and then really acknowledge what exactly is happening. And some people get so caught up in that. Yeah, John Ledger is credited for launching all these things, but you, you got to know that these things aren't just happening without the other CEOs and, and, and companies knowing about it. No, it's just test. You got to have test dummies out there. You know, you got to have a place to test it out. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's all that's happening with T-Mobile. T-Mobile wasn't a bad company, uh, but they needed some kind of flair. And John Ledger said, I'll do it. I'll sign on. Whatever his money was that he was getting for doing his seven-year bid, um, 
or however long he's been with the company, he got it. And you know, now he's groomed to be this great CEO because he was willing to put himself out there uh, and use that personality. I mean, do you guys remember what John Ledger looked like before T-Mobile? He was just like all the other CEOs, just some guy in a suit, and that's it. You know, nobody, I don't think anybody really paid attention to him, but he chose to play the game, and he played the game right, and it played out in his favor. He got lots of credit for everything. He's got 6.5 million followers on, on Twitter, and, you know, he, he's, he took T-Mobile to, he got people to look at T-Mobile. That's all that happened. You know, they're, to me, they're already a great company. He's not the one out there building out the towers and all this other stuff. It's, that plan with, with AT&T, that was a good one right there. AT&T got suckered into that plan because um, they had to pay T-Mobile, and they pretty much paid for T-Mobile's network. So, you know, that was a sucker move. They probably knew that wasn't going to get approved, but they wanted that money, and they had to get the capital from somewhere. So, again, got to play the game. So, T-Mobile CEO is no longer as of 2020. I saw this coming. And now here we are five years early. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing how they how they get it done. But let's hope 5G happens on December 6th. The phones do launch on December 6th. Uh, the OnePlus 7, depending on when you're watching this, it's obviously already out or isn't out yet. This is recording in November. Uh, but the um, OnePlus 7T McLaren will hit T-Mobile on December 6th along with the launch of 5G across the board along with the S10 5G, I believe it is, uh, that they're going to launch uh, across the board. I think I don't think the Note 5G is going to be, I'm not sure, but they definitely have the McLaren coming. I mean, because I, I spoke to T-Mobile and, you know, they, they, they definitely have the McLaren and the S10 5G, I believe, coming on December 6th. It's going to be ready to sell. Uh, so more than likely, I'll probably be standing in line over there because I know it's probably going to be a line. Because uh, where I live at, when OnePlus devices launch, there's a little bit of a line. Uh, it's, uh, I live by like one of the main stores that does high volume, so it's a bigger store. And so it does high numbers. People are lined up on launch days. So nonetheless, man, your new CEO is not John Ledger in 2020. How is the vibe and the meal you're going to be now going forward? I wonder if he's going to keep that excitement, you know. So uh, I don't, we should see. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next one. Take care.